going on YouTube? It's Patrick Minton Outdoors coming at you real quick. Uh, this weekend, Chase Scout Troop had a small hike they did. Then on Saturday, uh, it's a trail called Bear Wallow Trail, uh, Bear Wallow Gap. Um, it's up in the, on the Cumberland Plateau. Uh, for any of you that want to look it up, it's near Defeated Creek Campground. So, with that said, we were looking for a small pack. We didn't want anything huge. Everything we've got is for a multi-day, multi-night style trip. So, we went to Academy because Academy is the closest thing I've got outside of Dick Sporting Goods. i got Dick's here. Um, we have a Gander Mountain coming. Can't wait till that gets here. But, um, <clears throat> went into Academy and I don't want nothing too elaborate and didn't want anything, you know, too cheap either. Same time, I guess you could say. So, if you want to look this one up, it is uh, Academy Out Outdoors. This particular one is the Magellan Outdoors. Their Academy's brand that they carry. Um, it's called the Pin Jack Hiking Backpack. 35 liter backpack comes in gray, gray only. Now, looking at it, the price on it is $39.99. So, I'm going to consider that a pretty good value backpack for a day or so trip and, I, and I'll get into the details a little more it's 35 liters you could definitely do a day uh, an overnight trip with it with no problem now looking at it and I'm looking at it as I did in the store of course everything's all bundled up and it's dirty now but um, I noticed the first thing I noticed was the the main pocket the outer pocket here and the outer pocket here. Then I noticed it had the, you know, water bottle carriers. And also, the thing I was really concerned with was wanting was the hydration, be able to put a hydration pack in because we have a couple. But it already has it in it. It already comes with the hydration pack in it. And of course, has your leads to run your tube through. So, I saw that and already I'm like, hey, this is a winner already. They had some that were up a lot pricier. They were a little bigger, but I thought, you know what, he's got a big internal frame backpack. He doesn't need another one. He just needs something smaller. So I ran across this one and started looking it over and I thought, man, this, this part did the trick for what we got to have. So let's, let's take a real in-depth look at it. I notice this pocket here, let me lay it down, I'll unzip it. Notice this pocket here, and it's a shallow, small, you know, you can probably put a couple snacks, maybe some a compass or something that you need, you know, somebody to hand you, but it's right there. And then this compartment, they call it the sleeping bag compartment, and I'll show you. It's unzipped here. This is a vinyl, a uh, uh, nylon non rip stop rip stop nylon here's the compartment I don't know if you can see that for what they call the sleeping bag compartment now his lumberjack might fit in there um, definitely his he's got a uh, it's a 50 degree fleece bag it would definitely fit in there I would say and definitely he could get that fleece bag and probably his hammock and his um, rain cover for his hammock in that bottom pack no problem whatsoever then you come up here to this compartment and zip it and it's a it's shallow but it's fairly deep it has a place to hold your key ring you have to take the keys with you or of course you wouldn't take the keys with you and hang them in here and it's in your pack um, Got a little zipper pocket here. Hope you're catching all this. Then it's got a flesh part of uh, a mesh pocket here that you can drop some things down inside of. So I thought, well, you know, it's got some good storage on the front panels. You 
however you want to lay yours out. Oh, somebody says, how do you lay out your pack? I said, well, however you need to lay out your pack. Um, like I said, this, now, I will say this, <laughs> and I got reminded of it, it does have the cinch straps. You see me unbuckling those to let the pack out. So you see how much it comes out when you do that. So you got quite a bit of room inside this thing still. So anyway, this trail they went on was considered a difficult trail, according to trails.com. There was a lot of climbing. So anyway, you see the inside of the inside bag. Here's your water bladder. Now I was kind of the one thing, of course. Now got to remember, this is a value backpack. This is not a high dollar backpack. I was kind of hoping I had something to attach that to, but they don't. Um, that way it stands up straight. Now, what I will give them kudos on, this is not a 2 liter water bladder, it's a 3 liter. That's pretty cool. So you got 3 liters of water inside your bag with you. So, that's very serviceable. Well, not looking at it the other night, there's a zipper down here inside between your sleeping bag and your main pack. So you could basically unzip that and then you've got just one long deep backpack so it go from here to here. Alright, so looking at it, I'm thinking I'm really liking this. This will be pretty cool for him. They're going to do an overnighter backpack pretty soon where they'll be camping out um, talking to the leaders. He will build a hammock hang on that trip. He said there'll be a lot of them that'll end up hammock hanging on that trip. So this is probably what it's going to take. It's very lightweight. I don't know the exact weight on it. Probably get it real quick because I've got it pulled up. Uh, 2.6 pounds is what it weighs now. Uh, we didn't weigh it yesterday when he took off. Or, yeah, yesterday. I would say it didn't weigh any more than maybe 20 with everything in it. So anyway, let's look around a little more. You've got a fairly generous padding on your shoulder straps. It does have a waist belt. I'll lift it up so you can see it. There's your waist belt. It is a little dirty. They went vertical up a muddy side. It does have a vented back. I don't know if you can see that well enough or not. Yeah. And you can see the frame. It is a framed pack. And it's all in it's all on the outside. Um, both waist belts have small pockets in them uh, he was keeping he was keeping I think he kept his compass up here so it's right there on him and he kept his survival or his um, Leatherman sidekick in the other one um, so anyway I was looking at it I thought man this is great so far I like it it's got good pretty good size there's your waist belt clips and then Here's here's the where the shocking surprise come in. Let me get this where I can show you. And if you see rainy, rainfly right there, should be coming in. You unzip this pocket here, and here's a rainfly for this pack inside this pocket, and it's strapped in so you don't ever lose it. You just pull it up and over the pack. So. I asked him once he got home, I said, dude, how'd it carry? He said, it carried great. He said, I had no problems with it all day. Chase is about 5'9", 260 pounds. So he's a big boy. Fit him with no problem. It fit him great. Now, I'm going to tell myself, I'm 6'5". I'm about 4'10 right now. I am losing weight. And it fit me. So that ought to tell you something. It's got a hell of a waist belt on it. If it'll go around me, it's got a, well, it doesn't go around my waist. It didn't really hit him at the waist. It hit him more at the, around the stomach. But I would say even if he was going to do an overnighter with all of his food, with his extra change of socks and maybe extra change of uh, shell clothing, you probably get in the 30 pound range. That's still that's nothing that is excellent for that um, so $39.99 for the pack 
Um, product weight's 2.6 pounds, 3 liters reservoir, your water, 30 liter cargo. Uh, height on it's 19.5 inches, width on it is 12 inches. So it's small, but it's got a lot of room. Um, anyway, just something I wanted to throw out there. Uh, if you're looking for a small pack, it would even make a great get home bag. Um, or Bob, or whatever you want to call it, or whatever. So check into it. They sell them at Academy Sports. I carry it in the store. You can get it online, uh, free shipping, uh, or free to the store, excuse me. I'm not I'm not promoting Academy at all. I mean, I've bought a ton of stuff there, but I'm promoting this backpack. I will say I like this backpack, and he really loved this backpack. So with that said, this is Patrick Mid-10 Outdoors, and this backpack is scout approved. <laughs> Be prepared.